Abel Guillen, LFA. I'm here with Tom Lee, Aiden One. He's in the main event fighting Kevin Aguilar. It's going to be, oh my God, I'm super excited about this fight. For the LFA folks, this is really a UFC caliber fight. I, 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 Tom, I think that's something that you already know. You yeah, know, yeah, you, yeah. In, with Aiden One, you've done so much in the sport as it is. So we'll kind of just talk about your career to this point. So you were on The Ultimate Fighter. Talk a little bit about, you know, dealing with Conor McGregor, Faber, Dillashaw, you know, training with guys like that. It was great, man, just uh, to be able to get the experience to be in the same room as those guys. Um, you know, we trained with Faber, uh, Lance Palmer, TJ Dillashaw made an appearance. Uh, Don Fry made an appearance. It was all good, man. It was uh, great training. Uh, it was great having those guys around to see how they train, get ready for fights and things like that. Mm -hmm. Also, um, it was nice, uh, you know, McGregor had his team on his training schedule, but it was nice to, to see a little bit of that, uh, how he coached his guys, got them ready for fights, things like that. So the experience was wonderful. And so you're like with a taekwondo, taekwondo background. Mm -hmm. um, I had read a little bit more, like your father had owned, uh, owns a taekwondo uh, yep. facility. Yep. Um, just like just trying to talk about like when you started and your kind of evolution to this point. I uh, started ever since I could remember. So I started around four, uh, taking taekwondo under my dad in uh, Metairie, Louisiana. He's been teaching ever since he was a kid, uh, training and teaching back since he's been in Vietnam, coming to the U.S. Uh, so that was great, being able to be under him for such a long time to really get the ins and outs of his style of striking with Taekwondo and then mixing that with my mixed martial arts and training all the other styles and aspects of mixed martial arts and kind of bringing that in the right way. You know, some guys uh, bringing in, a, in my opinion, not the best way possible, we try to bring in it smart way, bring in the right things, bring in the footwork, bring in the distancing, things like that, things that make it effective. Mm -hmm. And so you, your, first, your only loss, you know, technically the exhibition doesn't count, your only loss was your first fight. So you think there's more just more just like just jumping in and just kind of not really knowing what was... Yeah, know? yeah, first pro fight, change in, in round times, change in pace, change in mentality. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think I was ready and uh, we made immediate changes going back into the gym and the game plan and uh, you could see in my next win and all the wins after that have been finished is pretty early, so uh, that's been fixed. <laughs> yeah, and so obviously we don't want to like talk any negative negativity at all. No, but you know, as far as the Dana Contender Series, did you feel that you, you were going to get that that contract after that? Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, you go out there, you put on a great show, exciting fight, great finish. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't have changed anything. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't change the way I fight for anybody, but. Uh, you know, if they decided not to take me, they wanted to take uh, Sugar Sean, you know, talks a lot, young guy, good fighter, so I understand that. Uh, we'll just keep trying to knock guys out until they don't have a choice but to take me. But it's, it's not like you just stopped, and not like because you went with Moffitt, correct? And yep. now you're the interim title holder. And we'll keep so, it going. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, as far as that fight was concerned, you know, how, how did you feel going into it? And then obviously you won the belt. So just good to talk about the experience. Uh, obviously always happy with the finish. Uh, mm -hmm always room to improve. So mm -hmm. we take things back, we get better, train, do it the right way, and, and continue to improve. But yeah, happy with the finish. Bobby was a great fighter, tough dude. Uh, Kevin's gonna be the same deal. Tough dude, go out there ready to get it. Uh, we're just gonna have to do the same thing. And then so now you got Kevin Aguilar, the, the angel of death. Uh, to me, personally, well, I, I think you guys would agree, you know, to me, this is like a UFC level fight, as far as the talent is concerned. That's gonna be the main event, LFA 40. Uh, just tell us a little bit about what you're looking, you know, you're expecting come you know, tomorrow. Well, obviously, he got the call. Uh, couldn't do it because of his broken hand. Mm -hmm. I've, I've gotten a call a couple times. Uh, couldn't do it because of passport issue, things like that. So, uh, yeah, it is a UFC level mm -hmm. fight. Uh, and y'all are gonna see a UFC level fight. Y'all are going to see a UFC level finish, so it's going to be great. Exactly. See, that's exactly why I love this job, because we get to do, just check it out and I get to hang out with guys like this. So, Tom, is there anything else you want to tell the LFA fans, you know, what they're looking forward to come uh, tomorrow? Tune in. It's going to be a great show. Tune in early. It's going to be a fast one. So I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be cage side. You guys come out and check out Tan Lee, 8 and 1. If you don't come out in LFA, you're going to buy, have to buy a UFC ticket. That's guaranteed. So come out and check them out tomorrow night, LFA 40 at the Bond Factory. Appreciate the time, Tom. All right. Thanks, man.